Today we're going to be taking a look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring kits available for the 2016 Buick Encore. Starting here we've got Kurt, part number C56216. It's going to offer the four pole flat trailer connector and that's going to be the same across the board. Then we've got our Tecancha, this is part number 118588. And finally the Hopkins, part number HM1114100. Now all three wiring harnesses are designed to be mounted inside of the rear of the vehicle. That's going to leave our four pole connector coming out of the rear hatch. Be able to bring that down, connect it to our trailer and have all the lighting functions that we need. To route it outside, you just want to bring it over part of the sill here. You can see that compresses a little bit. That's going to prevent our wiring from getting any kind of damage. Certainly want to avoid this striker, that will damage the wiring. Now when not in use, all of our harnesses with the, they call them a dust cover, but since these are inside, we don't really need to protect it from dust. But we can actually wrap, use that to wrap up our wiring, kind of keep it bundled up. A little bit nicer and neat than it just laying in the vehicle. And can actually tuck it right here underneath the storage compartment. Now there are really only a couple things that are going to differentiate one kit from the other. Uh, basically construction and also power output are really what we, what we look at. For the Kurt, it's going to offer three amps per turn and brake signal. So three amps to the left, three amps to the right. And it gives us six amps of power going out on the taillight circuit. Now with the Encore, Class two hitches are really all that's available, so that should be more than enough for anything you're gonna be hauling with that style rig. The Hopkins is exactly the same. Three and three on each the left turn and brake, right turn and brake, and six amps on the running light circuit. And the Tecancha is gonna step that up a little bit. It gives us a little bit more output. We're at 4.2 amps on the left and right turn signal and brake, and a full seven and a half amps going out to our tail light circuit. So that's going to make the Tecancha an ideal setup if you have a trailer that has a lot of lights. Maybe it's a smaller enclosed trailer with a lot of lights, especially if those lights are incandescent. Now the construction aspect with the Hopkins and with the Kurt are going to be very, very similar. Basically we've got a circuit board. It's going to be inside of our converter box, just kind of held there in a flat position. Hopkins is the same way, circuit board running inside. The really difference in construction is going to be when we get to the Tecancha. It's going to have that same circuit board inside, but what they've done, instead of just leaving it between two pieces of plastic that hold it together, they've actually put it inside of the housing here and then fully potted it. So there's a rubberized, almost like a rubberized epoxy material that is filled around that board. That's going to isolate it from any of the vibrations and things like that that we're typically going to get heading down the road. If these were to come detached and kind of bounce around in your car, the Tecancha definitely holds up better than the other two. Now each wiring kit also comes with a full hardware packet. Uh, the only thing that I think you're really going to need when dealing with installing these wiring kits are going to be some extra zip ties. Now all of our wiring harnesses are designed to be installed in our vehicle without changing any of our factory wiring. They have what's called a T-connector on them. Basically, we're going to unplug from the back of our factory tail light housing, plug this in line, then we can plug our line right back in there. So this is going to take signals from behind the passenger side tail light and our driver side tail light, puts it into our converter box. Now each one is going to have a converter box. One, it's going to take the signals that it gets from our tail lights and it's going to convert that into a usable signal for our trailer or our cargo carrier. The second thing this is designed to do is isolate the trailer from the vehicle. So if we have shorts or something like that in our trailer, those aren't going to be transferred into the vehicle. The power supply that it sends out is going to come from a 12 volt power source, typically the battery located under your hood. And that's going to prevent too much power being drawn through the signal wires here, overloading the vehicle's lighting system. Now to summarize what we've kind of talked about here, Power output usually is an important factor and the Tecancha is going to take the lead in that aspect. And the second deciding factor I think you're going to have is the construction. And again, the Tecancha just does better in that aspect. So 
If I were picking one of these wiring harnesses to go on my Encore, I'd put the Takancha in place and not have to worry about it. That's going to complete our look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring harnesses available for the Buick Encore. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.